Yo, what's up guys? Ace Owens Gaming here, and welcome to part 10 of WWE All-Stars Fantasy Warfare. And um, I recorded this video like this past week and my audio messed up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to I'm gonna re-commentate basically. Uh, the match was already done, I'm just gonna commentate. And the description says clear by millions throughout the WWE universe, who is the greatest superstar in the WWE history? Uh, <laughs> trying to catch up with the words because I didn't know I was moving it up and down that much. But um, in this match, I played as uh, who was it? Hogan? Yeah, I played as Hulk Hogan. And uh, the match was pretty epic. I can't wait for you guys to you know see what will happen and what the what what happened throughout that match. Um, the probably this is probably the longest match I've ever you know did in this game. Well, in this whole series. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's do it. Within each generation, there is one iconic figure whose success is transcendent, going beyond even world championships. They are men who seem immortal. They are the icons of their time. Hulk Hogan and John Cena, the personification of their generations. January 24th, 1984, the day Hulkamani was born. Hulk Hogan, he dropped the big leg on him. History made in Madison Square Garden. Hulkamania is here. I feel the energy. Hulkamania is running worldwide. They broke the ball when they made this man. Hulkamania shall live forever. Hogan was an American hero through and through. There was no gray area within the red and yellow. There's only one Hulk Hogan, Daddy. I won't meet any challenge. And when I get too old and gray, then I gotta let one of the little hustlers take over. You're gonna remember me for a long time, brother. April 3rd, 2005. The birth of C Nation. WWE Championship on the line. Cena's gonna do it! Cena wins! The time is in. of sports entertainment and I am surrounded by all of you what would happen if generations could collide a match the world wants to see we'll never see Tyson and Ali we'll never see Babe Ruth and Barry Bond this match will happen this is where the power lies this is my life this is my passion this is all that I got God created the heaven he created the earth he created all the Hulkamaniacs then he created a set of 24 pythons, brother. Take the greatest match of all time and turn it into the biggest knockdown Dragon Ball brawl you have ever seen in your life. I'm gonna ask you one question, brother. You want some? What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? Come get some! The outcome is in your hands. Hulk Hogan versus John Cena. Who is the biggest superstar of all time? Well, I can answer that question. Uh, mo well, currently it's John Cena. Um, I'm, I'm glad these two are really not going to fight in real life because the people. The, I think there has been a, like there was a rumor around for a minute, like well, a couple of months back, that Hogan was supposed to do something with Cena. Uh, he, Hogan even said it himself. He wanted to face Cena, which would be a horrible match. And by gosh, we're alive at WrestleMania. One fall. One fall. All right. Time to kick some arse. Please welcome to the ring, weighing 302 pounds from Venice Beach, California, Hulk Hogan. Weighing 240 pounds from West Newbury, Massachusetts, John Cena! Alright, well, I am playing as Hulk Hogan, like I said before. And we, we are about to uh, get ready to witness this spectacular match that uh, took place. 
And yeah. And look at that, Hogan uh, showing off his muscles. Those are just roids all in that. <laughs> and Hogan starting this match off an old leg drop on that arm. And oh, just got him. Oh uh, man, it, I can't believe already TLC is tomorrow. I'm recording this as of uh, Saturday, uh, December 13th. Uh, I can't believe TLC is tomorrow already. Uh, I'm not really as anticipated as I'm usually am for every pay-per-view, but I mean, maybe some good gonna happen tomorrow. I, I know it won't be good at Survivor Series, and uh, we all know what happened at Survivor Series, the debut of Sting, which was epic, historical. <laughs> but uh, hopefully in TLC, uh, I mean, the obvious is gonna happen. Everyone, people, everyone's gonna go through tables and ladders and chairs. That's that's what the pay-per-view is based off of. And by gosh. Oh, just got him with that power slam. Starting this match off early, dominating Cena. You hear that, guys? That's my uh, audio messing up. <laughs> That's the video. I know why this happened. Is because uh, when I'm recording with my capture card, I have this voice program open now with my, with my PC mic, and that causes it to act stupid. And both of these guys out the ring. What is this? Hogan's trying to grab Cena. He got him. What is Hulk Hogan doing? And leg drop. That looked like a. Uh, that was basically a famouser. And oh, with the elbow. And Cena has a signature. I don't know if he's going to use it or not. Hopefully, sometime in this match, he'll use that sig. And what am I doing? Okay, I think I was checking something in this part of the video. Oh yeah, the object. I was trying to search for an object. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan stealing off him again. What is this? And Cena reversed it with that arm drag. It would have been awesome if they made a uh, WWE <laughs> All Stars uh, like a second version of it or something. At least if they updated the game, they would have probably included like you know the current guys like Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and I had this thought the other day um, while I was doing this video. What if? There was a, a a curb stump in this game. That curb stump would be amazing. Like he would jump so high, and his leg would just you know he he'll just step on your head, and your head would just you know you you the person who's getting hit with that curb stump will sell the heck out of it in this game. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan again and leg drop. Hulk Hogan's going out the ring. Is he trying to get that weapon? Oh, never mind. He's back in the ring. Cena's out the ring. Cena's back in the ring. And Hogan just hit him with that vault body press somehow. Which was fake. Mmm, mmm. Get him, Hogan. Mmm. Just stealing off Cena. And fail. I, I, I tried hitting that SIG, but uh, that, that really failed. And power slam. No, that was not the SIG. I have a SIG in store. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to use it. And Hogan is uh going in and out the ring and says, well as Cena. Hogan is doing a, another body slam. But what is this? And oh, what a backbreaker by Hulk Hogan working on that back of John Cena. The Sig, what is this? He working on that back and backbreaker by Hulk Hogan. My gosh, that has to hurt. Oh my goodness. And Hulk Hogan has a uh, finisher. Oh, uh, what is this? And oh my god, one man to the other man. Oh, Hulk Hogan just leg dropped Cena in the air. By God. He just leg dropped Cena in the air. Now that was epic. I love that about that. That was probably the highlight of the match. That leg drop in that uh clothesline. That was epic. That was beyond epic. I love that. Cena again on top. And oh, he just got Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan with that elbow. Looks like Cena uh, has a sig. He, I, I don't know when he's going to use it. An arm drag by uh, Cena. Clothesline by Hulk Hogan. In a big or power slam by Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, guys. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. The reason why is because I'm actually laying down while recording. It's kind of weird. I shouldn't have did that, but it's whatever. What is uh, Cena doing? Oh, Hulk Hogan's going out the ring. Will he finally get that weapon? Maybe. And nope. 
Man, both of these men, uh, they got like similar accomplishments, you know. Uh, you know, Cena is the good guy, like the current good guy that you know he never. He's he he was hell of course when he first debuted, but he's always he he have, he's always been known as this uh this good guy. And the guy is not willing to turn heel at all. Same for Hulk Hogan. He's been heel before, but the guy is a a true babyface. And Cena just finally hit that sig and Hulk Hogan neck breaker by Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan again with that backbreaker. Oh my God! Oh, what a backbreaker! Cena is dead. <laughs> that is, that is it. Cena is out. There is no way Cena is coming back. I hope. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Whoop his ass, Hulk Hogan. And one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, uh, he just whooping his ass. Whooping his ass. And oh what? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Cena blocked that axe and and what is this? John Cena with the sig. What is this? You can't see me and a super suplex that is called the Super Cena suplex. Man, that has to hurt. And Hulk Hogan, oh my God, out of nowhere, <laughs> out of nowhere, that's Super Hulk Hogan and Power Slam. Oh my gosh. Oh, Hulk Hogan has that finisher. And leg drop out of nowhere and fail. He mi <laughs> he misses the leg drop. What a fail that was. Uh, that, that, that part really pissed me off when I played this match. I was so upset that I missed that leg drop. I was just confused. Like how? Like how the hell did I miss that leg drop? Cena was right there. I could have at least seen the leg drop him in his back or something. But it's uh, it was stupid. I mean, I'm, I'm building up a finisher pretty quick as well as Cena. Again, another sig. This is probably the third backbreaker in the match. And, oh, right on that back. Hogan has that finisher. I think Hogan is ready to end this. And Cena is getting up. He, Cena is getting up. What is Hogan doing? Oh, Cena just broke up. He just uh, ended the uh, finisher that was supposed to happen. Hogan is giving uh, Cena those, those hooks. Hulk Hogan with it with this running bot with with this uh jumping body slam. I'm 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 effing up my moves today. <laughs> and leg drop out of nowhere. Oh right on Cena's neck, and that is game. Man, that was nice. I that was like a, a super famous or something. But uh, thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at as one three thousand. Thank you for watching. Peace.